Hello friends, welcome back. So you know what we are doing, right? We are trying to build the connect and express ourselves, okay, with our audience. Now a quick recap once again, what did we see? We saw for us to connect and express ourselves, we will have to have a very solid opening line. Okay, we've seen what are the tools and techniques to do that. Then we saw that apart from having a very good opening line, we should have a very good closing line so that our audience can take an action, learn or understand whatever we said. Third thing that we said is how to bring in clarity in our speech so that again that connection is built and we are able to express ourselves. Then we saw how do we emphasize our words, important words, main ideas in our speech. Next what we are going to look at is because we are talking about emphasizing on main ideas and main words, how are we going to do that? Okay, This has already been taken care of in level 1 but now you are seasoned speakers, you are developing that growth mindset. So I will give you examples and I will tell you how to bring in that uh, variance in the previous lesson we had seen. No? So this is what we are going to do, bring in variance by using certain techniques. All right. So just le let's look at what are we going to learn today. So do you see this word detail here? So it's, it's in detail that we are going to learn and I'm going to again harp on the same thing. You are not a beginner now. You have already seen the, the slides on how to begin um, as a, how to start talking as a beginner. But now you have decided that you're going to become a speaker who is a learned seasoned speaker. So now that you've decided that, let's look at how do we connect and express using pitch, only pitch. When I had done this in level 1, I was talking about pitch and everything together. But I am going to devote this particular uh, section only on pitch. Okay. Every change in the thought demands a change in the voice. Pitch. Okay. So I had asked you all to bring in thoughts and think around your thoughts, keep the thoughts ready in different shelves and pull out thoughts as and when needed. Every thought that you have, every change in the thought that you bring in or you're using that in your speech demands a change in the voice pitch. Okay, so every thought that you're bringing in and there is a change, that change should also be brought in the words using pitch. Continual change of pitch is nature's highest method. If you want to bring your audience to a level wherein they are thrilled with you, they want to take an action, you will have to use your pitch. And please mind that I, whenever I'm talking, I'm doing that. I'm bringing in that pitch in my voice. And this is different from loudness. So that my audience, that is you, understands what I'm trying to say. Okay. We saw emphasis, change of pitch produces emphasis. So emphasis and change go hand in hand. Whenever you are trying to emphasize on any word, you will have to either increase or decrease your pitch. Both these things can help you connect and express yourself. All right, how do we do that? First thing is, you will not be able to bring in that variation of pitch in your voice if you do not practice and it all comes through practice and I had given certain um, tips to you in order for you to increase, uh, improve your voice quality in, in this comes under the voice quality. Gargling with uh, warm water, shouting, uh, reading out, shouting doesn't mean shouting at a very high pitch but shouting so that your vocal cords improve and then um, reading out loud, take a book reading out loud, all these things I have already told you. Now it's the time for applying these things in our speech. Okay, let me go back to several examples now. How do we bring in this variation using pitch in our voice? Okay, so you saw I said variation in the pitch in our voice. So when I'm bringing this variation automatically, you see that there is a rise, there is a fall, there is a rise, there is a fall. So you will have to bring your voice to a level so that you are not only emphasizing but also expressing yourself. Okay. Now certain examples and I have already told about rainwater harvesting, Jupiter, 
then your uh, broccoli and all that. Let me now take some other example. And these are all coming naturally to me. I have not prepared any examples. Okay, so I, will, I might take some time in coming up with examples. Now, what topic should we discuss on? On which I will give you examples. We have taken into consideration environment, rainwater harvesting, uh, afforestation, deforestation, and all that. We also spoke about girl child and um, you know preserving, uh, you know making them educated and all that. Now let's to look at something that um, can interest you. This topic is about developing a growth mindset. Okay, growth mindset. So I am trying to emphasize on growth mindset so I will not be able to emphasize on growth and both the words are equally important growth mindset both the words are equally important that is why I have maintained the same page growth mindset and then I came down so you see growth growth mindset and then I came down I did not say growth mindset I said growth mindset and then I came down okay because these are equally important. Now, if you want to develop a growth mindset, you will have to take into consideration certain skill sets. So here important words are skill sets. So I emphasized on that by increasing my pitch, certain skill sets, okay? So skill sets, okay? So again, there was a rise and then I brought it down. What are these skill sets? You're asking a question. What are the skill sets that you need to develop if you want to grow, if you want to have a growth mindset? Okay, every time you're talking about growth mindset, emphasize on it because that is what you want your audience to take home with. Now, I will continue with the speech. If you want to develop that growth mindset, these are the certain skills you need. Number one, an expressive mindset. So you see, expressive mindset. Number two, Personality development skills. Number three, confidence. Number four, creative writing and storytelling. Number five, social and emotional intelligence. Number six, mind map. So when I'm saying all these things, all these are equally important. I'm emphasizing and I've not lowered down my pitch. Now let's say I'm giving a talk on... Um, family which is a very simple topic and now I will be using pitch which is to emphasize and maybe emphasize doesn't always mean that I have to raise my voice I can uh, when I'm emphasizing I'm using expressions and I'm bringing my pitch down family is the most important possession that we have okay so have I came down most important possession that we have I came down parents are the gift of God to us. So there is a up and down, high scale, low scale. When you use this, okay, and this is a very emotional uh, talk that you're giving, you need not shout. But by maintaining a, a pitch, which is not very harsh, not very low, you are connecting with your audience because everybody loves their family. Everybody can connect with you when you talk about your family, when you talk about your parents, when you talk about your siblings. So. Another example of in the family uh, topic itself, I'm talking about the siblings. How happy do you feel when your little brother or sister come and disturb you? Okay, question mark, conversational tone, pitch. So you cannot use conversational tone, emphasize on words if you are not using your pitch. Okay, so this pitch, as you see here, mountain kind of a thing. When if, if uh, the speech could have been recorded as your... Now, ECG, you would see rise, fall, rise, fall, rise, fall. So as seasoned speakers, by now, you should have developed this skill of bringing in variation in your voice by using pitch, that is high, low, just like a scale in the song that we listen to. It comes through practice, but now that you've developed a speaker's mindset, you can do that. So let me re-emphasize on this entire thing once again when you're using pitch in your speech you are emphasizing on important and the main ideas of your speech when you are using pitch in your speech you are making your audience take action 
at the same time you are making your audience love you they they are impressed with your speech so next time when you speak bring in variation using the pitch so the next sections we are going to see other things like pace and all that but for for now just take some time read out a passage and bring in modulations variations by using pitch so thank you for watching i'll see you on the other side